I can't even kill you. But from hell's heart, I stab at thee! And... We're back. To... Watching our way of life slowly die out from old age. This is gonna be... Fun. Uh... So, yeah. We don't have much to do except for... Dig up food. And... Really hope that we find a rogue. And maybe I'll make up some... Uh... Backstory for our critters while we're exploring. Oh boy, more. Let's see. Yeah, so. Huh, interesting. You can move through the grass. There are a lot of roots, but I'm not really interested in those right now. These creatures are actually, let's see what I can make up. So why can't I move through there? They are the result of a... No, that's stupid. <laughs> oh, what fun. Should I... Should I split these guys up? It might be better to split them up so that... I have a better chance of finding rogues. I suppose we probably should. And there's also no time to clear grass. Oh, but look, Barry. But we don't need that. And if... If we find one predator or something, we're gonna die. I should move into an area that doesn't have grass, because then I'll be able to move faster. <laughs> it's like you can move over there. Nope. <gasps> yes, please. We must chase, chase it down and force it to become our friend. No, come back here. There's no time to shake the tree, either. I can hear you. Rogue male. Hi. Well... That's not good. We need a female. But, oh well, maybe, maybe having the male will extend our life slightly. Hmm. That's sick. Oh, because you have two of the same immunity, immunity gene. Can we not even recruit you? Looks like we can't even recruit you. Well, that sucks. Oh, apparently you're a baby, too. <laughs> well... Oh well, your traits kind of suck, and you only have seven days to live, which isn't going to extend my uh, time. You only have three days. Let's see what happens when we shake this tree. Absolutely nothing. Wait. No. Well, let's keep moving. We're gonna die here. Oh, woe is us. 
the home of the free and land of the brave, or the opposite way around. Oh, it's an emu! Hello, emu. You know, I don't really want to attack you because that would be a waste of my actions. So, as long as you're not going to hurt me, I'm not going to hurt you. And I've got plenty of food, so I don't really care. Our dream of freedom, founded by our... What was that sound? Founded by the great god, king, and queen, Adam and Eve, is coming to a close. Maybe this land... Goodbye, server, not found. Maybe this land will be inherited by a more worthy species. You know what? Since it's your last day, uh, let's see what happens if you collect the fruit. Yep, you died. <laughs> Goodbye, server not found. Your sacrifice for three food will be remembered. It's only- it's up to Charles Henneman to go find a female rogue. Oh wait, oh, it turns over. That sound again. What's this? Oh. I suspect it got bleeding from poking the cactus. Let's see. Uh, your swimming is only one, so let's get into this area so, so that we can hopefully find a rogue. Oh, those kelp. Quit making that noise. It's slightly disconcerting. And also, there are some islands over here. I don't think this is considered swimming, so we can move down into it. Yeah, it's not. Our ancestors would be ashamed. Wait, wait a minute. What is that? Is that that same rogue we saw earlier? Hey, you want to be my friend? Oh, it's... No, it's a different rogue male. Who's blind. I mean, could you please be my friend? Can we not recruit males? Can we only recruit females? Hey, please be my friend. Please. Please, I only have two days left to live. Please. Please be my friend. Eh. No. No. Why won't you be my friend? I have 33 food. Yeah, screw you. Well, we we might have made a few mistakes, mainly leaving everybody behind. But because this episode would end really quickly otherwise, I'm going to make a new world, and we're going to try again. Although, maybe I'll cut out a bunch of the, uh, exploring, a bunch of this first island exploration. And, we're back. As you can see, I'm doing a little better this time, with 177 food. 
and we're all ready to go. But first, let me introduce you to our new uh, posse. So, unfortunately I don't actually have any breeding pairs because I found two rogues, the first one of which is dead, and the second one of which is this guy, who is infertile. So, that's fun. Um, yeah, here's the family tree. Oh, actually, wait, no. I do have a breeding pair. Oh, no, I don't, never mind. Because they share a grandparent. Anyway. Let's get going. I think I could have stayed there longer, but I might have run out of rogues to keep the gene pool diverse. So, let's see what wondrous new tragedies await us on this island. Yay, and we actually kept everyone. Yeah, I did follow the proper egalitarian society rules, which meant that I had to wait for one of my guys to die before I left. You know, because we're egalitarians. <laughs> anyway, let's get going. So now we should be able to explore so much faster. And grab that. I also had one critter whose sole purpose in life was to sit between two berry bushes and collect them. He's unfortunately because he didn't have any children, he's been erased from the gene from the uh family tree. But still, and I don't remember his name, but still, he was probably the so what the The sole reason we have so much food. Hey, Tommy Graham, wanna check that out with your last two days of life? That doesn't look fun. Hmm. Yeah, we should focus more on exploring rather than um, getting food because we have enough food for like months. Just get moving. Up. Oh. Eat healing plant. Oh, are you actually going to be able to survive longer? Who's wounded? Only Tommy Graham, due to an encounter with a carnivore. Okay. If that does what it says on the tin, then I'm not going to use it yet. Alright, so are you going to be... Yay! You're now... You now have three more days. Let's... So let's not... Use those yet. Oh. E apparently rotates the map around. Alright. Continue scouting um, here. And these guys will go inland. Let's cut through here. over there. That would be good. Because we might still run into the exact same problem. Let's just go. Oh, you're out of actions. This time will be different, though. Oh, look, there's another fruit. This time will be different because I know we have the blessings of our ancestors who have all died either due to old age or actually I think I've only lost critters due to old age. Nobody drowned to death in a tragic accident that was totally, totally unavoidable despite whatever 
what anyone might say. Um, you only have one swimming, so don't bother. You know, avoiding inbleeding might be harder than I thought. Huh? That sounded like a bad noise. But, there's nothing here. Alright, you're gonna die, so... Um... Move through here and find a crab. Oh, and if you stand on the stump, you can see further. Neat. But we still... find anyone. Goodbye, Tommy. Uh, so how many days do we have left? Oh, you're gonna die now. But, that's okay. You're also gonna die pretty soon, leaving us with just these two. So, you can't actually... <laughs> You actually have no collecting, but six attack damage. Come on. Hmm. Yeah, despite my best efforts, we're now ending up in exactly the same spot. Dead too. Just some cacti. I don't care. Go away. Am I playing this entirely wrong? Will we ever? Oh, what's this? It's a dead berry bush. Well, I still don't care because I have plenty of food. Uh, I don't want to go in there yet because I'm because I'll drown. Apparently, that rabbit just stayed there. And you have one day. Up, oh, you've been renamed to Ah. We shall go find the castle of Ah. And that should also be your last word. Says Ah. Yep, we're done. And then there were two. Yeah, no. Why has the family tree gotten so small? Yeah, unfortunately, Sir Gary Gallivant and... Nai Netzarim are siblings. Which means they share that immunity gene. Clicking around, looking for savior of our base somewhere. What the? There's a static bird! It's been frozen in the space-time continuum due to the ancient artifacts surrounding this place. Although I suspect that that bird will kill us if we're not in grass, so let's move into grass. Hello, bird. into grass. Can we throw something at it? Shake the tree. Oh, it gave us some acorns. Can, 
I can't even click on it. No? Okay. So, four days left. And the bird is now frozen in space and time again. <gasps> Hello, who are you? I can't click on you. But I can apparently ship. Try it. Cool. Now what I need, I need a nest here, which means I discovered that you can just build nests well, basically wherever you want and it takes 10 material. Alright, for some reason you can't recruit the rogue males, but apparently you can still mate with them. Hello. <laughs> it looks so derpy. Rogue male. You don't even... Oh, I can rename you! I can rename you even though you're not part of the clan. There we go. Because you won't join us. You're dumb and your face is dumb. Alright, come over this way. Oh, look! It's a, it's a carnivore. That's attacking our our new child. I think you probably have terrible genes. Crippled paw. Yeah, that sucks. But at least you exist. And where's my Wikipedia page? Go on. Aha, you get for being a creature that sucks, you get a uh, amazing name. Seawalt the second of Massylvania. Let me also let me check. Uh oh, yeah, we've been going on for long enough, so. Let me hopefully kill this thing. Although it might actually It might actually kill us. Quick! Move forward to protect your sibling. Take that, and that, and that. Defend the child. Let's see what, how this goes down. Oh. Rip Rob. Apparently, they can attack ch children. Even if you're protecting them. No! Oh, Seamoth the second of Massylvania! <laughs> I can't even kill you. But from hell's heart, I stab at thee! Rip Rob. So, apparently, if a carnival gets anywhere near a child, it's gonna kill it immediately. Egalitarianism does not work very well. Well, I guess I'll play through the first island again. Still died with a hundred food left. I'll see you next.